Hello, I'm Pan. Today I'm gonna cover secure aggregation in Flower. In federated learning, only local model parameters are transferred to the server. But the history of uploaded parameters definitely tells something about the data it trains on. And like here, through inference attack, an adversary can infer whether the patient belongs to the database of a hospital or not. And it is not impossible to reveal user level privacy. Uh, like an adversary can reconstruct fine grained user data through passive attack. And in the passive attack, the server, uh, the server will only analyze a received parameters from the clients, but will stri still strictly follow the protocol as if nothing happens. So such kind of attack is completely invisible to clients. And the solution is allow and only allow the server to see the aggregate model. In secure aggregation, clients will add masks to their local mode updates, which makes them completely uh, indistinguishable from a randomly, a uniformly random sequences. And the server will, uh, can only unmask the aggregate model. Uh, Flowerna supports two state-of-the-art protocols. The first is the SecAg Plus protocol. In this protocol, it, allow, uh, it allows clients to add pairwise masks and individual masks to their local model updates. And pairwise masks can be cancelled out simply by adding them together and individual masks will be reconstructed at the end of secure aggregation. So the server can obtain the as a ac accurate aggregate model. The other protocol is the light stack act protocol. Uh, clients will encode the masks and send local models with masks. The server is only allowed to decode the aggregate mask and then computes the aggregate model. Flower supports secure aggregation through a module called Selvia Plus. It's quite easy to use. Uh, if you want to use uh, one of the secure aggregation protocols, just choose a strategy supporting SA, such as SecAg Plus Fed Average and LiSecAg Fed Average. And then on the server, and on, then on the client side, choose a corresponding client wrapper. And uh, we have already optimized this module, and we create Python binding to allow us to call C++ functions in Python. These functions are more, far more efficient in dealing with uh, the cryptographic stuffs. And for contributors and developers wanting to test their own secure creation protocols, Silver Plus is extendable. It allows arbitrary user defined uh, strategies and client wrappers. So just define, the two, define a, a strategy and a corresponding client a wrapper, then you can use basically any sort of protocol. Uh, thank you. That's all about security in Flower.